Hi, I'm Jesse, an Applications Engineer here at Mastercam. In this video, I want to show you the new copy functionality that has been added to push-pull inside of Mastercam 2020. Many times, it's easier to actually directly edit the solid model using model prep functionality versus using some of the older solids tools. In previous versions, you couldn't create a new body using push-pull, but now in Mastercam 2020, that's possible. Let's take a look. I'm going to start by splitting the solid face. I already have the wireframe that I need drawn, so I'm going to go to the Model Prep tab, and under the Direct Editing group, I'm going to launch Split Solid Face. When the function launches, it prompts me to select the wireframe and the face to split. I'm going to hold the Shift key while I select my wireframe so that Mastercam selects the entire chain and not just the entity that I'm clicking on. Next, I'm going to click on the solid face that I want to split. Solid Split automatically splits the solid face where the selected wireframe would intersect it when projected down to the face. Close the Split Solid Face function by clicking the green check. Next, we are going to go back to the Model Prep tab and in the Direct Editing group, select Push Pull. Inside the Entity group and Push Pull, we now have two radio buttons. When Move is selected, Push Pull functions exactly as it did in Mastercam 2019. In Mastercam 2020, we now have the option to choose Copy. This creates a new solid body from the face that we select. With the radio button set to Copy, I am going to select the new face that we created with Split Solid Face. To adjust the height of the face, click and drag the arrow. Since I need this solid to be the same height as the bottom of the head of the bolt, I will select an appropriate auto cursor position along the bottom of the bolt head. Click on the green check to close the push-pull dialog. If I click on the solid body that we created with push-pull, we can see that only that body is selected. This is a completely new solid body that is independent of the original solid. This new solid body is going to be used as a washer for the fixture bolt to hold down the part. So now we need to fill in this solid body. Since push-pull was the last function I used, I can press the space bar to relaunch it, or I can go back to the model prep tab and select push-pull. This time, we do not want to create a new solid. We want to modify the solid we previously created, so I'm going to set the radio button to move. I will then select the inside faces of the solid. With the faces selected, I will click and drag the arrow until the faces meet, creating a complete solid. I can now green check out and the solid body is complete. I can also change the color of this new solid body to help me identify it in my part file. So that's the new copy functionality inside of Push-Pull for Mastercam 2020. I hope you find it useful, and for more information, head over to whatsnew.mastercam.com.